everyone myself vaibhav in today's session of visual j forex i will be demonstrating to you the use of indicator named pivot this is an leading indicator which is derived on the basis of prior period high low and the closing value we will see how it is calculated and its component the various outputs we get almost seven outputs in all so we will see this is a part of the indicators listed under the other section of this uh, momentum series of uh, indicators here it is pivot now we head to the visual j forex board developed by the dukoscopy bank sa here i have included the formulas for uh, calculation of the individual values the middle point the central point which is called the pivot point the first resistance we have three resistance in all the resistance 1 the resistance 2 resistance 3 and likewise we have three support levels support 1 support 2 and uh, support 3 and uh, in front of these uh, we have these uh, calculation formulas listed so you can see how these uh, individual values are arrived now coming to the indicator for today's session we will use the on tick as our start point any of the three start point can be used to initialize the trade setup and uh, then we have to define these five parameters depending on which we will be getting these uh, output values which can be utilized to see on which side the momentum is and uh, how we should be positioning our uh, trades so let us uh, now go to the chart and there we will add the pivot to see how it uh, works on the chart and uh, how we can use this here it is we have various types of pivot point series indicators which we will uh, see in subsequent sessions now today we are mainly focused on the pivot this is the pivot uh, series indicator and uh, i think it is uh, being calculated on the daily time frame let me see output and advance yes the time period is of uh, one day so for each day we get these uh, pivot values the central point this is the central point pivot point and then we have these three resistance values listed on the upside whereas uh, since the chart uh, scale is uh, different we aren't really seeing the three support values but they are there on the lower side and as you can see we have these values s1 s2 s3 listed going all the way to the 1.162 whereas right now the price action is limited uh, and uh, it is trading above the 1.172 so these uh, values can help us see on uh, which side the momentum is now the simple use of this uh, pivot point series is that whenever we see that the price action is above this uh, central point it means the bullish strength uh, the momentum is on the upside and uh, if the price action is below this uh, central point then that means the bears are in control and uh, the momentum is on the very side so it's better for us to look for the short sell trade and uh, coming to the other points now if we use the s1 s2 s3 we have these three uh, output values the indicators output which gives us an idea of where the price is likely to find the support so we expect during the course of the day the price of the underlying instrument to find some buying momentum closer to the first support in case the first support stand break broken then we expect the value to find some support on the s2 and uh, even in uh, if uh, that uh, support breaks then we turn our attention to the s3 but uh, as i said it's not certain that uh, every time and all the time the support will uh, hold up the value of the underlying instrument sometimes we might see that the 
price action should straight away below these uh, supports and in case of uh, bullish momentum it can go past the resistance and uh, we of course have to rely on the price action a lot but uh, as i said this is a leading indicator so in advance you can plot where you will be targeting your entry or exit points as i said we can expect the resistance to put uh, the lead on the price action on the higher side but it uh, might be broken sometimes and uh, on the lower side the supports are expected to provide some buying momentum on the lower side but uh, there also the possibility of uh, breaking below those crucial levels is always there and uh, we see this indicator in conjunction with the price action if we see that after reaching certain level if the price action is stalling and uh, it is uh, consolidating closer to that range and then if we see some sort of uh, turnaround signal then in that uh, that uh, point in time we can think about going in for the fresh trade and uh, we can go for the trade uh, in which we will have good possibility of making money and uh, one more way uh, which we can uh, utilize this indicator is that if we see that the first resistance stands broken and if the price action is uh, strongly in uh, favor of the continuation of the bullish momentum then we can even uh, uh, go for the fresh trades on the higher side while expecting the resistance the first resistance which was earlier acting as the resistance now subsequently act as the support as price action has moved beyond it and uh, hence in uh, next turn of event it is expected to act as the support zone so we uh, can use these uh, all the output values the first resistance second resistance third resistance in a similar manner and also uh, inversely for the support levels also we can expect once the support level stands broken subsequently it is expected to act as the resistance zone for the price action taking place over that period of time so we can uh, use these indicators to see and uh, trade in the direction of the trend and uh, also to pinpoint the entry and exit point to make sure that we have the probability which is in our favor and uh, we can then uh, expect to make a profitable trades so that's how this indicator works now to customize these uh, values the uh, input parameters for these uh, keywords we have to find out the suitable combination now coming to its uh, input parameters first thing first we have to choose the instrument for which we want to design and develop the algorithm if we want to work with the euro usd then you don't really have to make any changes but if you want to change any change and bring in another currency instrument or equity indices you can do that so provided it is supported on these uh, platforms so all these supported instruments are listed here we will keep the euro usd as it is now the time period for the candle uh, here as i explained to you now the candle time frame is of one hour so we can keep different time frames for the uh, price action of the candle and uh, different time period for this uh, calculation of the pivot here the hourly candle is there while the time period for this uh, pivot point series is of day so this plotting is being done for the day and uh, whole day it is going to remain static we are not really going to see any changes unless and until the next trading session starts so that's how this uh, system works and uh, as i said we can uh, keep both these uh, time periods individually and separately here we also have this uh, another uh, input parameter which needs to be defined now here i will make it uh, daily shift is the look back period whether you want to take into consideration the current value or to if you want to retry the prior data then accordingly you have to take this uh, look back period value the zero will return you the current value shifting it to prior times by say uh, 
using the one two or uh, this uh, look back period as you wish and then retrieving the data for that particular time period and as i explained the indicators time frame on which it will be calculated if you make it weekly then we will be getting the levels the period point series and the resistance and support zones calculated at once for a whole week and then these uh, output levels will remain static for that particular week show historical level if you want to access the prior data historical data you simply have to change it to true and you will be able to access the historical data then coming to the output parameter as i said how we define the input parameters goes a long way in uh, getting the required output parameter and uh, then i have also explained to you how we can utilize these uh, output values in various ways to figure out the possible combination and trade using this uh, visual j forex based uh, algorithm which we can export and run on the j forex platform also now these uh, settings here we can change uh, this upper side whether we want the calculation to be done on the bit side or on the side the option is there and you can do that applied price if you change uh, the applied price i don't think uh, there is going to be much of an change as i said the formulas are pretty much uh, fixed and this is how these uh, calculations will be done so for these indicator uh, not much changes even if we change the applied price and uh, we will be getting the output values as uh, one for all these uh, various combinations possible with uh, different applied prices so that's it from my side for uh, today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and uh, i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward thank you all for joining in goodbye